Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all good and keeping safe and hygienic. I have about 20 seconds before I'm jumping in with three accounts into a Caballion raid. My aim today is to get in the car, as I already am, and smash some raids. So we're going to see if we can get the shiny. The shiny is needed on Tom and Francesco's account. Don't really mind about mine, but we'll come back and see if we get a shiny. It's rather a lot hotter in the car than I expected. I turned the engine off, had some bloody old phone crashing issues, but we're going to check. Number one. Boom, not shiny for us, but that is okay. 1674, I am not worried. It's the other two phones. We've got one more at St Mary's and then I need to have a little look around. So, let's go to raid number two. Here we go, check number two. We saw three rare candy there. Lovely, is it gonna be shiny? No, it's not. And seven, ugh. if it was over 1700, it'd be good. Hundo is 1727. So uh, I'm going to catch this off camera and find another uh, level 5 raid that isn't thunderous. Check number 3. Whoop. No shiny. No shiny. And 1760 is not bad, but then it's not a very good mon. So raid number 4 coming up. We have check number 4 while I'm sort of sat in the side of the road. Can we get it? Uh, no. And 1692 is terrible again. Yo! While we were doing that raid, I think, uh, or on the way here, yeah, on the way here, I've just got you my first shiny electric, which makes the second shiny of today, because I also managed to got you at home, but there's the electric, and if I scroll a long way back, you see, this morning, got you my shiny, <laughs> my second shiny Magnemite. This, if you don't have a Gotcha or a Gotcha Revolve, get one. They are fantastic. They're so much better than Pokemon Go Plus. Auto catch on the bus, in the car, whatever. Fantastic. I'm so happy. That's really put my mood up now. Awesome. Okay, let's go and do some more Cabalion raids. Check number five. Whoop! Yes! <laughs> That's really annoying because I'm not the one who needs the freaking shiny. Uh. I will happily take it, but frankly, where are Tom and Francesco's? That's five raids now, and they've got nothing. Tom's done a lot more raids than I have. Francesco, this one's for you, if you don't get one, if I don't get you one today. 17, this terrible IV, which is kind of what we want. Cool. Right, Ella's Road, where are you at? It's Caballion, we're gonna go and do it. Check number six, yet again, nothing for Tom and Francesco. Nothing for us either, uh, and that's horrible. So I don't know if there are any more raids around. We'll have to see. I might have a little break and then break the car back out again. Sorry, that was raid number seven, and I tried to get screen recording going and it pushed the button for me. Anyway, it's not shiny. It's 1707, which is quite all right. Uh, again, no shinies for Tom and Francesco. So Tom's probably up to 35 raids now without a shiny, which considering the fact that you're not supposed to be going outside Niantic and you're limited to a maximum of five encounters. Not just Caballion through Go Battle League, I might add. You're not guaranteed a Caballion like you are with the raid. Um, that's fairly unfair, I would like to say. I really do think they need to adjust the ratio. Anyway, I've got one more raid lined up. In fact, a couple more. So we'll try and catch it like that. Let's go and get a shiny for somebody else, like a selfish player that we are. Uh, yes, the mic, the mic's on. Numero eight. Ooh, oh yes! <laughs> so I've got four now. Why am I golden rousing it? I have four. Tom and Francesco have nada. How is this fair? <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry lads, I'm trying, honestly. 1664 is, I mean they're getting worse. If I can get the shiny 67, that would be good. I should probably connect my gotcha, because my gotcha's been bringing me in some proper eh, good stuff. Uh, that's mad. <laughs> this is numero 10, and again, nothing for Francesco or Tom. And nothing for me this time, thankfully. 1700 on the dot is... It's a kind of crap, really. So I've got one back up at Pits, uh, Pits Hanger Lane, which I could do. Uh, Red Line's about to hatch, and uh, Haven Green's about to hatch. So I'll probably get three more in. Check number. 
Oh Christ, is this 11 or 12? I, I can't remember. Anyway, no, no shiny, and 1680, 70, 98, whatever. Oh, you didn't f knew. Like, <laughs> I'll see how this video turns out because I admit the, the content isn't fantastic. So I may carry this over to tomorrow when Lugia comes out. We'll have to see. Uh, oh God, right, I'm going to catch this off camera. Do excuse me. Oh, for f uh, what? Okay, it wasn't screen recording. So we're going to, okay. Number 13. Here we go. Uh, not shiny. Oh, and it's garbage as well. Fantastic. But that's okay. I'm not worried. I'm just annoyed that I'm having to use 13 premiums to try and get other people shinies. Read number 14 now. Tom Francesco again. Nothing. And please don't let me get it. No, thankfully not. 1710. Right, catching off camera. I don't know, I may do an evening sesh. I'm not sure. We'll have to see, or we may put this up tomorrow. The next day. It's now Tuesday, uh, probably the day I'm gonna upload this video, and some news has come to light around a couple of things. So firstly, um, the UK is in a very serious lockdown sort of thing at the moment. Um, a Boris Johnson announced that basically you're not allowed to leave your house unless it's work, if it's absolutely necessary, a form of exercise once per day, I think, and to get food and essentials. So raiding is on a hold at the moment. Nobody's posting anything very sensibly. As a result of this, uh, there are a couple of things. Firstly, Lugia. Lugia was supposed to come in at 9pm tonight. It is no longer going to be coming to raid battles. Lugia with Aeroblast is cancelled, as is Wednesday's raid hour. So that's not happening either. What has happened is that Cabalion is now extended until the end of March, until March the 31st. Uh, I found that out by curious coincidence when I claimed a Go Battle League reward at about uh, 10 past 11 last night, and it was a Cabalion. What else is also happening in the fact that people can't or aren't allowed to go outside if you're not as fortunate as myself in the case of me living on two pokestops and on top of a nest so i'm okay in terms of playing the game but if you can't get access to a pokestop you've been really struggling to get items so what they've done until further noticed what they are doing is you can open 30 gifts now so 30 gifts per day and you can hold 20 in your, in your inventory uh one thing I would like to say is that Niantic, in order to get 20 gifts in your adventure, you still have to spin Pokestops. This is where I'm thinking that what they've done here is a bit of a, uh, it's a half assed job, realistically. And also the gifts are now giving out more Pokeballs as opposed to berries or anything like that. So you're getting more Pokeballs from those gifts that you open. What you have to hope is that somebody in your friends list uh, can send you gifts. Now, if you want to, drop your friend code in my comments. I can add you, and other people can add you, and I can send you a gift uh, during this time period, because I live on top of two Pokestops, so I can keep stocked up, and I can send you an item or two. Uh, serious offer right there. Something else they've done is they've added a three times catch, dust, and XP for your daily Pokemon catch. So basically, you get like a bonus for your daily streak. Which is nice, but then again, you know, you don't want to waste a star piece on one catch. I know it's a lot of Stardust in one go, but you're going to have to really hope that, you know, you've got some spawns or use an incense. And finally, about a week ago, they did the 30 incense box for one coin. Well, now they've got a Pokeball box for one coin. And as time evolves, I think on a weekly basis, they're going to rotate what that one Pokecoin box is going to contain. I would stress highly, if you are unable to go out and spin stops or collect items, or if you can't open many gifts or whatever, be careful on how much you catch, because your Pokeballs are going to drain very, very quickly. There was a new in-game feature announced, uh, officially via Twitter, I think it was officially via Twitter, it might have been Leak Duck, I can't remember, but basically there is a today tab, uh, supposedly coming soon, 
So basically it will help you keep track of what events are running, what the bonuses of said events are. So that is gonna go alongside your field research tab, which I think is fantastic in terms of trying to keep track of what bloody bonuses are active. It'll also keep track of your Pokestop and Pokemon catch streaks uh, more clearly. And also it will show you what Pokemon are in gyms, so you don't have to scroll through either the gym list and search by defending. So that's a very handy little tab that is uh, coming soon. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but they announced it, which is quite nice. Finally, you know how I feel about Thunderous. Well, the final section of that trio, the Forces of Nature trio, Landorus, is going to be coming to raids once Thunderous leaves. I think it's at the end of the month. Landorus is coming to level 5 raids from March the 31st. It will be April the 1st for us because it's the evening time. Uh, until April the 21st, so it's here for a solid three weeks, uh, and it will be pretty much the same as both Tornadus and Thunderous, in the sense that it is not a shiny legendary, it's not going to be very useful, I would assume. I believe it is a flying ground type, so it's like a legendary version of Glissor, uh, which, I mean, Glissor does have its uses in PvP, but I don't know how much use this one's going to be personally. That's the question. It's called it's the Abundance Pokemon. You will be able to encounter it as a Go Battle League reward. The thing is, if you still need a Thunderous for whatever reason, you're going to have to sort of think a little bit when you're going to be able to do that because there's no raid hours or anything like that. I would actually suggest that, certainly for now, do not go outside if you don't have a Thunderous because, frankly, what's the point? Thunderous, yes, it's a Dex, you want it for the Dex, but it will come back around with a Shiny, and it is more important to look after your health and the well-being of your family and your household than, you know, getting a bloody useless legendary Pokemon. The difference was, earlier in the video, uh, I was in a car with uh, the window and the roof up and the air on recirc so i'm not exact and i wasn't exactly blocking traffic or anything like that so i'm not causing any issues and i'm not interacting with anybody that's about all the news that there is realistically um yeah so lugia not happening cabalion staying around what it does mean those who don't have the shiny yet i.e tom francesco and maybe a couple more of you i mean tom's now zero for 47 which, I mean, if you think about it realistically, if you were trying to do that through Go, through Go Battle League, you would be screwed. A, a couple of you in the comments were making very good points about um, some of the issues that have presented themselves in terms of actually you know, getting items and certain people are you know, trying to campaign to get a certain radius of spoofing legitimised, which realistically is not going to happen. Are you mad? <laughs> Here are a few suggestions, I think, which I would really appreciate if um, if you disagree or agree, leave your point of view in the comments. And if you do agree, post it and tweet this video to Niantic and give them a timestamp because these few, they're not massive changes, they're not stupid changes, they're just things that would actually help people who are in self-quarantine, in the lockdown, who can't go out to raid, who don't you know, have the ability like I have with three spare phones to go and raid Kabalion or whatever. Number one, the Go Battle League premium track. The encounter reward should be number one. Not a random item, because if you think about it, a raid pass, you put it into a raid, you complete the raid or you win the raid and you immediately get the encounter. It's not like you have to complete the raid twice to then get the encounter. And it's a bit unfair if, for example, if you put your pass into the premium track because you want to try and get the encounter quicker rather than trying to do four wins, and you lose four out of five. Second point I would like to make, which is something that I think would work better than trying to faff around with the gift system, there's a Walking Dead uh, AR mobile game, uh, which you can send, I think it's called a beacon or a flare or something, and then players can, can go to your location and help you out. I'm sure Pokemon Go or Niantic can think of a solution temporarily whereby, kind of like an incense or a Meltan box, you can activate an item or send an SOS beacon or something to Niantic and say I'm in quarantine or I'm in lockdown I can't get access to a poker stop and then Niantic can say here is a temporary Stop or a temporary way to get a research task that's easy to do I might add that either gives you pokeballs 
or um, a, an encounter of some kind and you can spin that stop for 60 minutes so you get an hour maybe and you can't call it up more than once a day because then you just have people be i mean imagine if i had access to a beacon I would have three Pokestops, <laughs> and it's not like, oh, I can't, I'm not going outside. It's like, if you can walk to a Pokestop, like, for example, if I didn't have my two stops here, I would gladly just walk across the road and go and spin Ealing Studios. Easy. Because that's like two seconds, you can do it as part of exercise. It's if you live in the middle of nowhere, um, and you're not allowed to travel into big cities or whatever, or you're in lockdown, you can call up this emergency stop to get yourself some items for an hour. And thereby, you should be able to get gifts, in which case you can send them and do whatever. And then you can actually partake in getting you know, the gift bonuses that Niantic have put in place. Point number three, very simple. I mentioned it in a previous video. I think the shiny Cabalion rates should be higher now because certain, like the fact that you know more and more countries are going into this lockdown um, you've got a cap on the number of chances you have to try and get an encounter through Go Battle League. You have to win consistently to try and get an encounter. And even then you're not guaranteed. But it should be like a 1 in 10 rate, because then you'll keep people happy. You know, you shouldn't have to do 47 raids slash Go Battle League encounters and not get a shiny. I know that, you know, it's sort of the whole argument of say, no one's entitled to a shiny. I think under these circumstances, if you put a limited time raid boss out, yes, they've now extended it for about 10 days, the shiny rate should still be higher because you're, you're going to be, you know, you will have those players who have terrible luck with certain legendaries. Tom has very bad luck with certain legendaries. I had very bad luck with Rayquaza. I mean, I can't imagine how angry I would be right now if I would have to go, you know, 60 plus raids and not get the Cabalion shiny. Because it's like, what can I do, you know, apart from drive around? Um, you know, I've got stuff to do. I'm in lockdown in the country. Shouldn't really be going outside looking for this raid boss. Point number four. Do something with the buddy system, Niantic, because the buddy system is one of those few things that you can actually do sat on your ass. Your buddy Pokemon, if you get it to you know, bring you gifts, instead of giving you potions and revives and berries is what it seems to do at the moment, it could give you Pokeballs. Very simple change. Much like the gift system, you just swap one item out with another. Your buddy Pokemon can bring you gifts more regularly. Once you, because that encourages people to do their buddy stuff. You can feed your Pokemon berries, why not have it so that getting to a poffin or getting to double hearts on your buddy is, you know, half the amount of emotion points? You only have to get 16 emotion points rather than getting to 32. That would mean you just have to do a couple of interactions every 30 minutes and then you can get more hearts on your buddy. Okay, this list, this list is a few things that I think Niantic can do to improve what's going on in the game at the moment. There are more things that they can do, Niantic, this is, to improve the quality of gameplay for those who are unfortunate and not able to go outside. But that's me rabbiting on for way too bloody long. Um, do let me know if you want to see some Go Battle League stuff and see how badly I do. <laughs> Look, with that, I'm going to continue watching this Formula One race. Uh, and edit this damn video. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are new with the notifications on and smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Again, take care, look after yourself, stay home if you can. Be vigilant, everybody. Take care, look after yourselves and your family. Oh, and also, they've actually reduced the, the amount of friendship you need to, in order to do remote PVPing. So feel free to send me a PVP invite if I've got you on my friends list. Um, yeah, send me a match and we'll have a go. I'll let you pick the league and we'll have a go. We'll do like a best of three. Why not? Since we're all stuck at home pretty much. Bring on, bring on your battling. Anyway, take care everybody. <laughs>